hi you guys and welcome to my channel so i will call this video like my coding journal and this will be part one i'm thinking of making different parts just to see my progress and just me making this video puts more pressure to keep going keep learning because so far i've given up once <laughs> and yeah i didn't code for a couple of weeks and here we are uh, i picked it back up and i'm teaching myself html and css but most importantly javascript and it is not easy i'm not even gonna lie it's been super difficult the thing is it's been up and down i would say because it gives you so much confidence and this boost when you understand things. And when it's something you don't understand, like your confidence is gone. And to me, it's not, it's not bad to like quit something if you just think that, you know, this is not for me. I cannot do this. So don't waste your time on something. But if I feel like I haven't given my all, like if I just know that I have more to give, I just need to give it another try. And so in this video, I thought that I would share some things that I've done and I just want to say that I have no background in coding or anything like that. You know when you see someone and they're good at something and it makes sense? To me, it's like the totally opposite. Like, I have no connection to coding or anything like that. I just want to create and build websites. So to be able to do that, I need to learn this. And yeah, I just thought that I would show some projects here. Um let's see so i will show like my first thing that i've done because first i taught myself like css and html and i i'm not gonna ramble actually i'm gonna just show you guys so here was the first thing that i did in html and css and i just took a few of my drawings and put them on the site like this and yeah i was just proud of myself for doing this and I was excited about these dots too. Just to be able to change back and forth. I was like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> but this was my first thing though. Uh, let me change it back. I do not care like how it looks like aesthetic wise. Like I just wanna, uh, you know, try out with colors and shapes and stuff. Just learn basically. Uh, but I have a huge interest in design. Uh, and here is the. This is, yeah, this was the second one. I wanted to learn how to make these boxes, like log and stuff. Um, and I'm a huge fan of Sopranos, if you cannot tell by this. So I thought this was so much fun too. And then I wanted to make, um, I wanted to see how to make these buttons that can lead to something. So here, I didn't care about how this looked uh, aesthetic wise, but just that it works. So when I click on like Instagram, it will take me to my Instagram. <laughs> so let's see, yeah, it's working. So just, you know, things like this. Uh, I thought it was cool. And then here. So, oh, you guys shouldn't have seen that, hold on. So when you click here, it comes up a little text here. And after I made this one, I gave up uh, and stopped. I was finito, adios with this. And this was right before I started with JavaScript. And I tried, I'm not gonna lie, I tried like till the end to just try to make interactive things without JavaScript and you cannot do that. Like you need JavaScript and it's so much fun when you understand it. So this was my first little project or whatever, uh, trying out JavaScript. I made this image zoomer, it was really cool. Uh, it might not be big things for you guys if you're watching like oh what is this but uh, it's a big step for me i enjoy this one and uh, the last thing that i did was the other day and i made a oh hold on oh here i couldn't see it uh, i'm just gonna try something with the size it's not gonna be that big so let's see yay so you guys can see I made a little trail like this uh, because when I build my own site I want it to be very interactive and you know I want to build things that I have in my head I want it to come to life and you can not pay people to do certain things but it will never exactly be how you want it to be you know and they charge a lot so I was like let me 
teach myself this because I can do it. Uh, so yeah, here are a few of my projects. So for me personally, these small projects that I showed you guys are super important in my learning journey because obviously I'm taking classes, looking at tutorials, videos and stuff like that. But at the same time, I need to create and do other projects and do things from scratch myself because just taking class after class after class after class it is not not good for me when it comes to learning i'm sure that everyone are different but i always need to create something on the side and just learning while i'm doing it but yeah i just want to make a video and document my journey and hopefully we will see a huge progress later this year and this also gave me like a boost to keep going like when i'm making a video about it so thank you so much for watching and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video bye